can have went up to 160 over 100. So I'm about to assess the patient just to see um, if there's any signs of distress or anything. So far, the oxygen and the, let's see, something is going wrong. Okay. So the heart rate is going low. Okay. You may need some assistance. Um, if you can get some help through another nurse and have someone call in, and we may, right now the oxygen is still at 98. Um, let's see. Blood pressure is still high. Heart rate is still at a 45. Oh. Nurse Missy, can you see if anyone can come in for assistance? Yeah, sure, I can. I believe this patient is having trouble breathing. Can someone come in and call the rapid response team? And someone go to the craft card and get um, a thing of atropine. I believe this patient is having trouble breathing. Can someone come in and call the rapid response team? And someone go to the craft card and get um, a thing of atropine. Atropine is being given. Can we have someone come in and give this patient oxygen? Blood pressure is still at 160 over 100. Heart rate is still 45. This patient is still having trouble breathing. Can you continue with the ambu bag? Heart rate is still not changing. Okay, heart rate is going back to normal. Let's wait and see what the blood pressure is going to do. Blood pressure is going back up. Okay. 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 I'm assessing the patient now. Oxygen, the patient is breathing well. Heart rate is still at 85. Blood pressure is still at 120 over 80. We have normal vital signs. Team, I think we did great getting back the patient to stable vital signs. Thank you for the rapid response team for coming in for assistance. <laughs> What do you think the learning objectives were with this scenario? We learned how to use the medications. Okay. Missy says knowing when to call an RRT versus a code. Also knowing um, how to work as a team, team collaboration, cooperation and collaboration with each other, knowing um, how to assist each other in assessing the patient and providing medication. Yeah. I think it was a good scenario. I just would like in the future, I think, maybe to have more scenarios so everybody could take chart turns in each of the spots. I think you guys did well, and I think you saved the patient, which is the ultimate goal. And hopefully you can carry some of this knowledge about when to call a code versus when to call a rapid response team um, to your clinical practice as well. I also well. think that um, the work that we have done in Second Life and the experiences that we have had together here in Second Life and in, at Clarence Hospital and at Global Health, um, I see each of you um, somewhat more confident. And Rachel, I have to say Dr. Umarin and I both, I'll, I'll speak for us both, <laughs> she can correct me, I think we just did a lot of learning from you as well here in, in Second Life and at Global Health. So thank you. Absolutely. We appreciate your participation. <laughs>